Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're going to be doing update number four in the Harry Potter project pan. So this was actually a project that was created by Christina Chang. I will go ahead and make sure to link her channel up in the card. She's fantastic. She does a lot of really fun projects. She also does first impressions. She tries out new foundations. She does just a lot of really fun content. She does unboxings. She also is a Harry Potter fanatic, much like myself. So it was one of those things that when I saw her video, I was like, yes, I need to do this project too. So I invited myself on in and I'm so glad that I did because this has been so, so much fun. I can't believe that A, we're on update number four, and B, that it's going to be concluding next month. Like, where did this time go? Absolutely crazy. So without further ado, let's get into the progress that I have made on these products. So the first one is this little baby right here. So the first prompt in this project is to choose Gryffindor or Slytherin. If you had to be sorted into one of those two houses, I chose Gryffindor and I chose this itty bitty little Sephora collection cream stain in the shade 01 Red. I had thought that I would be able to use this up in a six month time period and it turns out that I can't. Um, I didn't actually use this at all this month. I just haven't been doing a lot of red lip lately and so this hasn't gotten any use. The goal that I'm going to set for myself is to use it at least twice next month before the finale. I don't think that will be enough to use it up but it is additional progress towards getting this little guy finished up. There's not a ton in here but doesn't really take much with A liquid lips and B with red. <laughs> so. The goal is two more times, but I'm not going to hit goal on this, my original goal at least. The next product is going to be for the second book, and it's going to be a product that you pretend it doesn't exist. And for me, that is going to be my Essence Make Me Brow. And it's not this particular product that I pretend doesn't exist. It's my eyebrows in general. I am terrible at doing brows. That's just what it comes down to. So I have used this a few times, not a lot. I do keep track of how often I use things. So I used this six times. Not great, but you know, making way. I, I don't think I had set a true goal for this. I just wanted to get in the habit of doing my brows. So it's not a complete fail, but I'm still not doing my brows on a daily basis. What I do count as a success though, is that it has gotten me to trying out different brow products. So I found that I don't really love this particular product because for me and my itty bitty sparse little crazy brows, this wand is actually too big and it tends to catch product on the little tiny fine baby hairs of my actual eye of my uh lid rather and so then it just looks kind of weird and there's a lot of cleanup with it so i don't actually love this product but i have started trying out other products to see what is going to be my perfect brow product for the moment at least so again not great progress but overall for lifestyle i'm feeling pretty good Number three is You Got the Grim. This is a product that you love and everybody else hates. And again, I don't feel like this is a product that people necessarily hate. I mean, I'm sure somebody out there does, but this is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. I really enjoy this product a lot. I just don't think it's as popular as I, the steam that I personally hold it in. And you guys, I finished it up. I am so excited. I said in my last update that I was really, really close. This only took an additional four uses to go ahead and use it up completely. I have not yet decided whether or not I actually want to dig this sucker out. For the purpose of the project, I'm calling it done. But I don't know if the completionist in me is going to actually dig this out or if I do how I would go about using it. So I've got a lot of question marks. If I do decide to clean it out, I'll probably film it, film the depotting, because I've never done that before. So it will be an adventure. But for the purposes of this project, I have one that is completed. 
Number four is a product to honor Cedric. It needs to be a yellow or gold product. I pulled in this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Jinxie. And I've actually made a good bit of progress. You can see a good dip in there. You can see the outline of the pan underneath. I've been using this mostly as either an inner corner highlight or I have been putting it on as a highlighter. I don't love it for that, but it's working for the sake of this project. So let me give you just a swatch. I don't honestly love it on my lids. I just don't feel like this shade of gold flatters my skin tone for an all over lid sort of color. So that's why I'm using it in alternative ways. But my goal was just to hit pan. Honestly, I think with the progress that I've made, if I continue on in this way, I think I'll probably be able to hit pan, which will be very, very exciting for me. I have used this bad boy a total of where are you, Jinxie? A total of seven times. So that includes both as a highlighter and as an inner corner highlight. So it's kind of whatever. But that is my project progress here. The next product is a product to remind you of Luna, Luna Lovegood. This I chose my deluxe sample size of the Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade SPL and I am done with this as well which is so exciting. I pulled the stopper out. I don't know if you can tell but she is all gone. I love it. I used it up totally completely. There is probably just a little bit left on this applicator. Not much though. You probably can't see it at all. It was just this beautiful clear gloss but it was full of really beautiful glitter. It had like pinks and blues and greens and it was just lovely and I really did enjoy the formula a lot. I have a lot of lip glosses going with me at the moment but this is definitely a formula that I would consider purchasing in the full size because I really did enjoy panning this a lot. But that is now a total of two products out of seven that are done. Okay, the next is number seven. This is Think, no, not number seven. I'm sorry, I can't count. Number six, Think Pygmy Puffs. So this is a product that you purchased for the packaging. And that is definitely this guy right here. This is a lipstick from Hourglass. And I bought it for the packaging for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's beautiful. But I also love that it is refillable. That to me is really awesome. So you just pull it apart like that buy a new refill and it cuts down on packaging waste, which I am a big fan of. So my goal is to use this up completely. I did a hard push on that guys. It doesn't seem like there's that much left, but a little of this does go a long way. So I am hoping, hoping, hoping that I can get this finished up by the finale. But even if I don't, I will be darn close. And this was basically new when I pulled it in at the beginning of this project. So I do feel really, really good about the progress. I have used this 14 times this month, which I think is, again, really, really great. Oh, I didn't tell you how many times I used the lip gloss. Sorry about that. Uh, SBL, I used a total of 15 times. Okay. So those are both really, really good. Again, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. I'm going to try really, really hard, but I still feel very accomplished for the progress that I have made on it. And then the last product in this project is for book number seven. It is your always product. For me, I chose the Physician's Formula. This is the Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum in the shade Ultra Black, only by the Ultra Black. Trust me. Um, I love this eyeliner. I have gone through so, so many of these over the years, and no matter what other eyeliner I purchase, I always end up coming back to this one because it's just so good. It's so reliable and dependable. It has a brush tip, which honestly is my fave, and it's just so good. So I'll be honest, I haven't used this a ton. I think I've only used this a handful of times. Yeah, uh, six times. I'm just not in an eyeliner sort of phase. That always tends to happen when the weather gets warmer. Even when I'm wearing darker, more sultry looks like this one, I still don't typically pair it with eyeliner. I don't know why that is. But my goal was not to use it up. I didn't really have a goal for it. But I will likely be 
calling this done at the end of the project is my assumption because that means that it's been open for at least six months and since it is something that goes by your eye area it's probably not a great idea to hang on to it that much longer but I do absolutely love 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 this product so yes that is my progress and I'm feeling really really good about this project I, I've made peace with the things that I will not come anywhere near completing but I do think that I will come I, I will actually make my goal on this guy here and I will come darn close on this one here I just have got a lot of projects going on at the moment and if you've seen any of my other project pans you know that I have a bajillion lip products <laughs> spread across all of these different projects so it makes getting to go on any of them a little bit tricky but I do again feel really really good about the progress that I've made in all of these products so again thank you Christina for putting together such an awesome project if you have enjoyed this video I hope you'll go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're new welcome I hope that you will consider subscribing before you leave I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.